G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazine's about to put in at Cleveland in South East Queensland with a new Angler Pro boat. I'm with Owen Jones from, uh, from Angler Pro and Owen, decent sort of boat for today. It's got a cabin and it's a pretty cool westerly blowing. There is a little bit of breeze out there, so we've got somewhere to hide as the uh, as the day kicks on. Tell us the model and the configuration of this Angler Pro. So the Escapade 554, it's the smallest in the Escapade range, uh, 130 Yamaha on the back, fitted on a W trailer. Um, so, and the configuration, it's like a cuddy cabin, which means that up the front you've got somewhere to have a sleep if you're pretty short, but somewhere for the family to get out of the weather while you've still got a bit of space in the back in the cockpit to do some serious fishing. Yeah, absolutely. Somewhere for the kids to hide with the iPad while you're fishing away down the back or one of those uh, green mates to have a little lay down. Now, tell us a little bit about Angler Pro, the, the history. You've got nearly 10 dealers Australia-wide now. Where are they built and what's the theory behind them? They're all built here in, uh, in Brisbane. They're all mainly targeted at the more serious fishermen with a few family-friendly features. I noticed that uh, the basic level of fit up of an Angler Pro is fairly high, like you don't need to tick that many options box to get it right up there. Um, painted is standard, trailers are standard from the factory if you order them. Tell, tell us the story about the, the trailers in these boats. So trailers from Dumbia, we've uh, worked with Dumbia guys to put a few packages together, uh, fitted on the factory trailer, the five year warranty, structural warranty on the hulls, um, available in the steel gal or aluminium. And I think that's a, that's a bit of a game changer because the standard warranty is only one or two years, but if you put it on the, the factory fitted trailer, gets up to five years. So if you're making a purchase decision, there's not too many aluminium boats on the market that have a five year warranty. No, not a lot out there. Now this one's fitted with Yamaha's F130, which is up towards the top of the range of what you can put on this thing. Uh, how does it go on the water? She's uh, nice and comfortable, pushes along without drinking too much. I noticed there's some fairly innovative things on, on the inside. You've got, it's like a, a, a centre mounted seat in the back that you can fold away to get out of the road. I haven't seen too many of those in the, the cabin style boats. Is that, a, is that an Angler Pro thing? Gives us a nice dry storage option and also doesn't stop access to underneath the hull so you can keep an eye on your bilge pumps, you can have a look at what's going on. Tell us about the Angler Pro story with the extra ribs that you put in these things. What's it called and why do you do it? X-Core, keep it tough, keep it strong, keep it for Aussie conditions. The other marketing term you have on the sticker at the back, uh, what's it called and, and explain the reverse chines to, to people that don't know what they are. So our, our sabre hull, so keep things a little bit drier, a nice fine entry, it loves a little bit of chop and a little bit of uh, activity on top of the water, a um, little bit of stability at rest with the uh, flatter back end. And you can see that in the cutaways that I've put here, the, the variable dead rise means that it, it'll cut the waves at the start and that, that angle drops down towards the back to give you that stability. And a reverse chine means that it just funnels that water down and away to, to give you a little bit more stability, I suppose, at rest, but also to, to, to funnel that wash uh, through an area to, to make it run a little bit better. Yeah, keep you up on top of the water and keep you dry. Well, that's the Angler Pro story. What we like doing at Fishing Monthly is to put this thing in the water to come back to you with some performance statistics.
So that's what the Angler Pro Escapade 554 looks like uh, in southern Moreton Bay. Cracker of a day for it here. And although it's quite nice on this side of the island, we've got the standard morning winter westerly happening on the other side. So, uh, so coming across the bay, we could really appreciate that front cabin in there. Uh, it's a good place to get our gear and yourselves out of the spray um, and out of the uh, out of the cold. You know, us Queenslanders, we're not used to this cold weather. Talking about the cabin and working from front backwards, uh, quite easy to get out of the cabin. It's quite a big front cabin door and it's actually low enough to easily jump out the front of the boat. As these cabin boats get bigger, egress from the front of the boat gets a little bit more difficult. So we found this quite easy to get in and out of from the front of the boat. Now, speaking of the cabins, it's, uh, it's quite deep on the inside. It's quite broad on the inside, but it does lack a little bit of length. If you want to lie down and fully stretch out and be on, uh, on padded bunks, not going to happen in this boat. And in fact, as you go up in the range, that cabin size stays the same. You just gain more cockpit space with with these angler pros. We thought it was uh, really interesting, the rear seating arrangement. Uh, it has an offset seating box that the lid lifts up to put your gear in, but then the whole box tips over forward so you can uh, access the hatches to get to your isolation switches, to your batteries and to your boat's plumbing. And uh, uh, although it's easy to use now, don't know how it would easy to be if that was full of gear, but uh, considering you only need to usually open that box to uh, turn the battery on and off, uh, could be a really interesting setup having the uh, having those people with a little bit of a, a padded back rail, giving them somewhere to sit. Now, move forward to the helm seats. The helm seats are big and comfortable and there's storage inbuilt underneath them. I always think it's, uh, it's wasted space if you don't have something underneath there. Some boat companies put eskies there. These guys have room for plenty of tackle and plenty of stuff that's gonna stay fairly dry uh, in the cockpit. Um, helm itself, very comfortable. Uh, from a passenger point of view, not a huge amount of enclosed space to put your wallet, keys, mobile phone, etc. Although there are other, are other parts of the boat where you can, uh, where you can stash those. Um, I like the transom door when you're getting in and out off the trailer. Um, the front isn't an option then. No, you need to get in the back. It comes with that transom door and a duckboard, which is wide enough to, to step up there. And with the bait board at the back, this one here is a fixed one, but you can get an option to get a single pole removable bait board if that's your thing. Moving further back again, this thing's powered by Yamaha's F130, which is a 130 horsepower four-stroke outboard, and it gave us the following performance figures. Uh, best economy was at 3,500 RPM, where it did 36 kilometers an hour, and the economy was just under three kilometers per litre at 2.8. Now, that's, uh, that is pretty good economy for a big motor. Um, at wide open throttle, it goes 6,300 RPM, up into the low 70s at 73 kilometers per hour, and it gets just over 1.5 kilometers per litre. So like most boats, if you're heavy on the throttle, you're going to pay at the Bowser. This has a, an 85 litre fuel tank and at the best economical speed, that gives you over 200 kilometres of range. Showing that this is designed for a, uh, for a day boat or, or an overnight boat, not really designed for super long, long range trips and that's to be expected. Talking about cabin boats, this is at the uh, and it's at the affordable end of the market. This boat has tested just over fifty thousand dollars with that Yamaha 130 on the back, uh, although priced from packages will start just under that. Uh, if you want to get more information on any of the Angler Pro boats, make sure you go to anglerpro.com.au or check out their socials down below. Till then, we're going to enjoy the rest of our day on Morton Bay.